Yo, what is up everyone? How's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I'm just hanging out behind this waterfall. You can actually park your bird or uh, build little structures behind these and stuff. And you can't see them from the other side of the water, uh, which is kind of cool. You might be able to hide some stuff. Might have to utilize this area further on in the build. But... What we're going to be doing today is finally building, because we're in the redwoods, we're finally going to be doing a platform build on the a redwood tree. So I've done these in the past, done little guides on them, but what I'm going to do here is kind of go with a new kind of build. I'm going to take you through the what the ideas that I've got for this one. So I'm just going to get right into it. I need to grab some water here before I die, and uh, why don't we get started with this build? Alright, so here we are. I've got some of it started here right away, kind of left off this last little section so we could do a part of it together. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting pillars on the kind of corners or those little parts where the wood goes out. So you can actually build a three part wall in between. Now I'm placing fence foundations down at the bottom there so that I can stack the walls here. Otherwise you can't really build on these. You have to either put foundations or the fence foundations to actually do this. Now. The reason I have the pillars on the side is actually so I can get a ceiling across once I get these all the way up. So I'm actually going to throw some windows. I'll throw a window on that so we can see what's going on. But this one's got some gaps in it. I'm going to have to go back and kind of, I don't know. You just have to like space them out correctly so that you don't have to worry about it. So what I'm going to do here is I'll show you. I'll throw it on a fence foundation and then... I, I want this pillar to be right up against that one, so I gotta remove this. Make sure you don't destroy your whole platform. I've done that like halfway through a build before. Just destroyed the the platform because you can actually demolish it. All right, so that's still not um, lining up, but it's not too bad. Like I said, I gotta kind of fix that other side, so I'll kind of move that a little bit more over here so we'll add these in so you can add three of them in and as you can see you just have a space like if you were to keep going with fence foundations you would have huge gaps so the pillars kind of fill in that area so as you can see these ones are pretty good those ones have no gaps in them so I have to fix up a few of the gaps but it's not too too bad so what I'm gonna do now is actually we'll move this Quetzal I'll show you what we've got going on they kind of look like the big walls from some of the mods that they've got so I've got this guy all stacked up with stuff let's throw some more into weight okay oh my god this bloom quality let me turn this down all right cool all right so anyway they look kind of like the big walls that you would see in like some of the mods I think it's like oh, I can't remember which one it is but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in this whole area, and then uh, we'll continue on. Alright, so all the walls are up now, so that's all set. Now it's on to pretty much the hardest part, and that's doing the ceilings. Because of how like the, the platforms are shaped, it's really hard to get a full ceiling on the whole build, unless you do like a square or something on it. So what we're doing is actually, let's see, overlapping all of these. Let's go up onto the bird so I can get out of the way here but what I want to do is actually overlap the ceilings over each other so as you can see they go at like an angle they'll kind of fill in as we go so what I'm gonna do is kind of keep going around in this whole shape fill this in and hopefully I'll be able to get enough structural support I'll probably had to have to add one more interior row of pillars to get the ceiling going all the way in but we are looking good so far so let me just finish up the ceiling and then we can continue on with the rest of the build
Alright, so there we are. Got the whole ceiling on this thing. It took forever, honestly. It, it really is the longest part of this whole process, is getting that thing up. So, I also threw a dino hatch frame onto the side. I wasn't able to actually put it on the interior section because all those ceilings are really goofy. So, this is just a nice little box that I could throw a dino entry on. So, I need to break a few of these so I can make a door. So I didn't throw a door into here. And then I'll show you what I've got going on on the inside. Create. Okay, so I also threw a trap door up above us so that if I don't have a, a bird or whatever, I can actually get up there because I got to throw a ladder onto that. So I'll throw this door up, and now here we are. Oh, crap. I didn't realize it was one sh It's one taller than the floor. You know what? That's all right. We'll throw a ramp on it. Can I make a ramp, though? Oh, crap. I might be stuck in here. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I'm going to have to break something to get out because... Shoot, I didn't realize I was stuck in here because the bird's not going to be able to get me. Alright, anyway, I uh, threw the pillars on the inside, so I just need to connect these with walls, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I had to get myself out of there, and I just finished up everything with the build pretty much. I think we should be all set with this, so it turned out really cool. I just have to do a little bit more on the interior, and we should be pretty much all set. So I threw railings on the outside. There are a few gaps in them, but I mean, what are you going to do? The torches went on the little ceiling parts, which turned out pretty sweet. So we go down here, I got the ladder all set, and then we've got our hatch frame, of course. Now, if we go in here, I put a ramp on there, by the way, because I was stuck. So I've got a bunch of storage, but like I said, uh, we added a few mods onto the server, so I just want to contain them into here. So I threw in their benches, I threw all the uh, sap taps up there so that I can get to fishing and whatnot. Now, this one's just got a basic bench. This is the S Plus crafting uh, station. So what this is, is basically no clip uh, ceilings, walls. I've only tried the ceilings and they worked out really well for uh, building around ruins and kind of rock faces and stuff. So it's really nice for that. Uh, the other one I added into the server is this Eco Trees one, which you can actually put a platform that you can pick up and stuff. I don't know what's going on with that. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this bench which is really cool because it's got a little pla like a redwood tree on the top I think it's a really cool decoration if anything and then in this one we've got a whole bunch of trees and rocks basically you can plant all of the textures from arc into your area which is kinda cool I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use them but I like the benches and this is a good spot to kinda hide them away because I do like the vanilla feel in general so anyway we've got a little platform out here so that I can have a railing on the outside you know, just got to make sure everything's going good down there. I might move some dinosaurs up here, actually, because, seriously, this area has so many terror birds and stuff, and they just fall off the cliffs into my pens. And I don't know what's going on. But what I do need to do is get a in here. We've got to get a generator onto this thing because when I come in with the bird, I can't shut the hatch frame. So I want to be able to do that, so I need to get a keypad going. Okay, so... Generator has been added in. Keypad has been added. I, I haven't used a keypad in a while, and I love the convenience of it. It's actually really nice. I need to throw one into my actual build, our actual base over here. So what we've got is we've got our electrical wiring going on down here. Figured it wouldn't matter if it was down below the base. I'll show you how I've got that set up. Let's go into here. Can we open this? Perfect. And, and for some reason, now when you open it, any other way it opens up like this but if you open with the keypad it opens down I, I don't understand but I mean it's alright so let's park him it's perfect perfect little spot I'm sure it feels nice and claustrophobic so to use this I've got my hatch frame all set up with one pin and then we've got the trap door set up to another one so if I go in here and I go to open and I'll type that in oh I think I typed in the wrong numbers crap okay We'll do this one more time. There. So we've opened our trap door, which, I mean, I don't know how often I'm going to use that, but that's just kind of to show that you can do it with multiple things. See? Now I've opened the dino hatch frame with another pin, and it opens down. I don't know why. So if we close, we can close our dino hatch frame, and then this one, we can close our trap door. So that's how a keypad works. It's really nice. You can do it with pretty much anything that can be pin locked. Uh, I, I mean, you can't really do storage containers because I don't know what that would really do. But <laughs> we've got our generator in here, and then I ran the wiring down. So that's how that works. So we've got all of our electrical. This thing.
turned out really sweet. I really like the tree platforms. Now, they just need to add in these rope bridges so I can do multiple ones all connected to each other. So, that's where we're going to stop for today. <laughs> Whoops. All right, if you liked the video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe for the ch to the channel for more content. Otherwise, you all have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time.